Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to Daytona for the Daytona 75. This is going to be race number 27 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with the season winding down, let's go through your current top 10 in points. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second place will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Fifth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Ninth will be the 799 of Mike Check. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 49 of Jetman. Now taking a look at your team and chassis standings. In your team standings, we've got first place, Douche Motorsports. In second place, MBR. Third place, Aces to Z Motorsports. Fourth, Amish Buggy Racing. And fifth, the Drop Bear Racing Team. Your chassis points look like this with the uh, Dodge in first, Chevy in second, Toyota in third, and fourth is going to be fourth. Well, that's a look at all things points standings here for this More Freedom Series 75 at the Daytona International Speedway. They are drafting already here for the warm up, and I think they're getting those cars dialed in. The fans are piling in, so I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As I get these cars wound up, let's go through your starting top 10 today. Starting on the pole will be the 799 of Mike Check, and on his outside, the 211 of Hogs. Starting third will be the 96 of Nico, and on his outside, the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Starting fifth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, and on her outside, the 8 of Moon Bunny. Starting seventh will be the 300 of Resemble, and on his outside, the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Starting ninth will be the 88 of, eight of NM, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 49 of Jetman. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today for this Daytona 75 here at the Daytona International Speedway. Hey, we've got the 799 of Mike Check on the poll here today. And if you didn't know, we have a guest commentator in the booth. And so let's, let's see if he can give us some insight into how the 799 of Mike Check is feeling right now leading us down to the green flag. Yeah, well, thanks for having me here in the booth. Uh, I think you, you got your 799 of Mike Check here. He's currently running in ninth in your standings. The pressure is on as we're coming towards the end of the season. So I think we're going to see some... Um, he's, he's really going to push his car. He's going to push himself to the limits here. Uh, I think you're going to see him taking a lot of chances. He's going to have a, a really strong finish to stay in this, uh, this current points chase. I like how you're feeling about the 799 here. I think he has a good chance, especially with the 300 of Resemble starting a few cars back. If they could get hooked up on the track, um, maybe, you know, stay up there at the front. It's going to be a rough race today, you know, all the drafting and everything else that they do here at Daytona. But I think, you know, five bonus points to start off with for Mike as he leads us down to take the green flag here. Pace car is in. Green flag is out. We're underway here for the Daytona 75. So he's going to be leading us down into turn one. They're going to get these cars wound up. It's going to take almost an entire lap for them to get fired up and going here as we watch Mike lead. A couple car lengths already by that 799 of Mike check as we see the 356 of Ice Cream some days thinking about ducking into the inside of the 96 of Nico. There's a strong start there, and he's going to be wanting to get this first lap done and dusted, and uh, if he can stay on that pole position, he's going to want those points, that's for sure. Yeah, five bonus points for the pole, and then hopefully five bonus points as he comes around to get this to lead the first lap. We're going to find out if he's able to lead that as the 96 of Nico is right there to his back bumper here down the front stretch as he works to the outside of the 799 of Mike. Check Mike down to the inside. He's down to the line. He is going to lead. Lap number one, so 10 bonus points already for that 799 of Mike Check. While we're looking at it, let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. As we see the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days working down to his inside, and it looks like the 300 of Resemble, teammate to that 799 of Mike Check, is about to make it three wide into turn three. So we're three wide with 
the 300 of Resemble making an ice cream sandwich here with the 799 of Mike Check as they head towards the stripe. So Mike looks like he's still leading here at Daytona as we have lots of shifting per, for position here as it's basically three wide through the entirety of this field right now as the 300 of Resemble pushing down to the inside. Looks like the three of Geek Girl Games, car owner to the 356, trying to make it three or four wide right now. So we're watching as we head into turn three with the 356 in the middle. Now an ice cream sandwich between the 300 and the 799. I think that sandwich is continuing on as the 300 of Resemble pushing out to the front precariously through this field as it's three wide to the back. So Resemble is going to lead here on this lap. He's going to get those five bonus points as it looks like Mike Check led the first couple laps here at Daytona. G3 right to the back bumper, trying to help that draft on the 300 of Resemble as the 33 of Harvey Jones, teammate to the 544, Frederick Winklevom, who runs third in points right now. So Resemble sliding up in front of his teammate. Looks like there he's going to try to get some help from the 799 of Mike Check. As we see the Geek G3 Motorsports teammates right there next to each other on the track as the 33 of Harvey Jones pushing down to the inside of the 356. He's going to try to push the, th the three of Geek Girl Games to the front with help by the 13 at King of the Aces in the 544, Frederick Winklevom. Down into one and two, Frederick, I'm sorry, Harvey Jones making it three wide right now in that Reynolds wrap dodge for the RP Racing. Right there, right behind him is going to be the 13 at King of the Aces. And uh, I'm not sure, like, I'm seeing, you know, I'm, I'm betting that the 544 is trying to going to try to hook up with his teammate as fast as he can here to try to get to the front of this field as Frederick definitely is currently about 23 points behind Mudbone for the series lead. That's right, you've got Mudbone at the moment. He's in 16th place. He's, uh, he, he seems to have come up a little bit there. We'll, we'll get a, another update for the show. As timing and scoring will update in just a moment as we just... It has been a wild, crazy, as it does update, it's been a wild, crazy race so far as you see Mudbone down to the inside in the low lane. So I think it's gonna be good for him as normally, normally the low lane is the fast lane, but we've been seeing, ooh, we got the 96 of Nico grinding the wall. So Nico into the outside wall right there. Looks like he has not lost, he's trying to get that car back up to speed in front of the 211 of Hogs. Yeah, just an update. We got um, Mudbone. He started in 25th today. He is your current points leader, and he's now up to 15th. So, doing well. Doing well is right. If he could keep the, he he definitely wants to keep his lead. He's actually going for a three-peat here at Daytona. He won the fall race last year. He won the spring race this year, and he is going for the three-peat as the spring race of this year as well. So Mudbone is trying to get three wins at Daytona in the last two seasons. Uh, crazy fact about Mudbone is, is that he was not even in season one of the More Freedom Series, and he is currently running like third or fourth in overall pointage for the More Freedom Series. Cur uh, team, not team, but career standings. As we watch the battle up at the front right now, the 300 of Resemble for the Drop Bear Racing Team has just been hooked up with his car owner, the 799 of Mike Check this whole time, and Mike and him have been able to just keep him out there in front of everybody in spite of the low line or the high line being technically slower than everybody else. So we're watching up here at the front. Let's jump to the back of this pack as we see currently in the back is the known wrecker, the 23 of Fuller Than You. He's riding back here with the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. As we head on to lap number eight right now. So we're just jumping up here through the back of this field as we watch the 25 of JTM 
who currently runs way in the back right now in 30th position. But again, this is not going to matter at some point because we do have pit stops that will be coming up here uh, probably in the next couple laps as we watch them come down the back stretch. And we see the double zero of Mudbone currently sandwiched between everybody as we're going to try to jump up here to the front real quick as we see the 329. Of, actually, we've got a newcomer to the front of the field in the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Last lap, she was running in around the fourth position. She has now moved through the middle of the field and up to probably maybe the lead here. Ooh, looks like the 300 of Resemble will still be your leader here on that lap, but very close between him and the 420 of Queen of Hearts as the 329 of Heck of a Duber is now working to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. Queen has a huge run down the back stretch right now. That's right, starting at uh, 23rd position today, so she has made a good move from the front of the back. As we work down the back stretch, Queen is now solidly, sort of solidly out to the front. There's no, you know, they're so close in these cars right now with this restrictor plate racing that you can see three, four, five wide, uh, maybe not five wide, but at least four wide through this field. As Duber, who started, well, where did Duber start at today? He started in a position on the track in 30th. <laughs> he started 30th today, has now made a run, and he actually will lead a lap there as the 11 of TC Roberts and the 211 of Hogs work down to the inside. Hogs is trying to make it four wide as we head into turn three. It is going to be four wide. Duber in TC are hooked up right there in the middle. This could be catastrophe in the making as we're four wide through three and four. Hogs puts that 211. Oh, they are into the pits. We're going to see if any shenanigans happen. So close right there as we'll jump back up to the front of this field as everybody had a slow with all those people jumping into the pits. So the 420 of Queen of Hearts kind of racing right now with the 329 of heck of a duber if that 300 of resemble can get there that could be beneficial because it will help them draft while those other cars are in the pits and as my co-commentator knows uh shenanigans do occur <laughs> during pit stops here in the more freedom series that's right it's become quite regular uh, in this season um it's quite a risky uh business that's right because you can make it or break it going into the pits here in the More Freedom Series as we look like. Who's staying out? Looks like the 33 of Harvey Jones is staying out as well as the 666 of Pistol Pete, the 49, the 72. They're all staying out for one more lap, but it sounded like they lost a little bit of speed as they had to slow down for everybody else coming into the pits. So we're looking at... Three different pits coming in. Yeah, three different pitch strategies as of it's not really the different pitch strategies but one lap can make or break it here in the more freedom series so they're coming in probably on lap number 14 and with 17 laps to go i mean when you're doing some maths that is very close to only being a one pit stop race for these drivers as we're going to see if they all jump into the pits this time. So they are, oh, actually, folks, actually, we've got the 33 of Harvey Jones either purposefully staying out or accidentally staying out here as he rides behind the 96 of Nico. So you remember, Nick hit the wall and grinded off the side of that car, I'm pretty sure, early in the race. So I'm pretty sure that's why he's fallen back so far right now. But... Harvey, how do you, what do you what are you thinking here? That you think that he's just got that much gas in the tank? Are they just that good? I mean, he's he, maybe he's got a bit more confidence. I don't know, but Harvey's Harvey's an interesting character. It's gonna be, I don't know, I don't know what he's doing here. I, I'm complete agreement on what is going on with RP Racing. They've been known to keep their cars out for extra laps, and sometimes, yeah, finally in. It sometimes bit him in the butt. Uh, but it looks like we're going to see what Harvey does here. I'm assuming four tires and fuel under that Rindle Wrap Dodge for 
RP Racing teammates to the 544 Frederick Winklevom. He is into his pit stall, and oh, goodness, folks, it is fuel only. This is a crazy move by the 33 in RP Racing. I mean, we didn't watch any of the other pit stops, so we don't know if they just went fuel only or if they did tires and fuel, but you can see the 329, and it possibly... This could be crazy shakeup here for this race is newcomer to the front of the field, the 07 of Douche Baggins. So DB up to the front of this field. I don't even listen, I don't know where he came from in the start of this race or where he was running when everybody pitted, but he's now at the front of this field. Yeah, currently standing in the 17th position with the current points at the moment, uh, Douche Baggins. He's uh, on 18.99, uh, just behind Queen of Hearts. So this could be if he can, with a four-car breakaway up here at the front of the field between himself and... So this is this is two Douche Motorsports drivers and two Aces to Z Motorsports drivers. So when we take a look at the team standings, Douche Motorsports, this could be a huge points day for them with two drivers in this breakaway pack of four. Also, I mean, Aces to Zed, they are working hard this season, uh, and they're about 110 points behind. So with two drivers in this breakaway four, they could potentially make up a bunch of points on MBR, who I don't even know. Looking at the standings, MBR doesn't have a driver in the top 10. So we'll jump back. We're currently following along with this breakaway top four, but let's jump back here to the second pack, which involves, oh, well, look at that. There's the 25 of JTM who is now in the top 10. He's in the second breakaway pack with the 23 known wrecker, fuller than you. The points leader, the double zero of Mudbone is here. Checking to see who else is in this. The 20 of Adam B5000, who runs second in points. The 211 of Hogs. Another Drop Bear Racing teammate, the 999 of Deviant. And Drop Bear took him on. Again, as you know, the storyline of that this season was Drop Bear took on the 999 of Deviant when he was left without a ride after the end of last season. So Deviant currently runs on the track right now, being scored in the 10th position. We'll jump back here to the third pack as they are currently running lots of cars deep <laughs> and um, checking in on them. So KFB, who earlier in the race was running, I think almost in last place, has now worked himself into the 13th position here in the second pack. The second pack is going to have to work hard to catch up to, or I'm sorry, the third pack. They'll have to work hard to catch up to the second pack, and then that second pack's gonna have to work, that whole pack's gonna have to work hard to catch up to the first pack as we're looking at the timing and scoring right now. It shows the second pack is two seconds back and then another five seconds back to the third pack. And then we actually have a, looks like a fourth pack as we jump back here through this. As we see back here, way in the back, um, we've got the 40 of Veteran Chaos, the 96 of Nico, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, and the 88 of NM. This is way back here in 32nd and 33rd. And we see the 29 of Wishbone Attack running by himself way out here. So he's currently 19 seconds behind the leader. And with them running 47 second laps, he is definitely going to be caught at some point. Yeah, he's dropping away back there. So I'm not sure if something happened in the pits for the 29 of Wishbone Attack, but I'm showing scoring of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer pitted twice. I don't know that that scoring's right, that KFB would have pitted twice, but I, I don't know. It could be. Let's go through your current top 10 as we're seeing finally that second pack is now caught up to the back of the first pack. We see the 25 of JTM with a great run down to the inside of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So JTM 
working down to the inside. And so a great run by that second pack as you see him sliding up to the outside with the 420 at Queen of Hearts. So Queen has got some contention right now by the 25 of JTM. JTM right now to the back bumper of the 07, a douchebag. And so JTM going to try to push that 07 to the front of the field. Possibly make it three wide right here as he's looking to take the lead away from the 07. I'm not sure what happened to the, so the 33 of Harvey Jones, he came in the leader. He is currently running way back in 28th position. So he lost a lot after his pit stop. Stayed out there a little too long, I think. I, I would agree with that. He definitely stayed out way too long. Probably should have come in with the first or second group. Um, because like you saw, they they did slow down when they came into the pits, and I think that really hurt him on his times. He wasn't able to get a good lap around into his pit stop as we have it. Oh, goodness. We've got it three, almost four wide as he crossed the line. The 25 of JTM. He is going to look like he is going to lead that lap. I think that's his second lap led, but... 25 of JTM coming from the 14th position and working that second pack magic into the first pack as we see check it in on your let's see where your point or your pole sitter the night the 799 of Mike check after those pit stops falling back right now he is back to the 20th position right now so I think it was those differing of pit stops that full pack that came in first i think mike check was actually in the first pack i can't remember so right now leading this race is the 25 of jtm it looks like the 20 of adam b5000 will get a lap led here as we have eight laps to go here in the daytona 75 here at the daytona international speedway as we see the 211 of Hogs desperately trying to grab that draft by the seven, the triple seven of Seabass and work towards the front. Hogs, who was way up at the front of the field or the front of the standings early going as a rookie for Douche Motorsports has fallen way back to 29th in the points as we do see right now. So Adam B5000, we'll get those five bonus points. But if we look down here to the inside, we're now gonna see the double zero of Mudbone coming into the pit. So short pit stop here. It looks like they only actually about 10 laps they went for these pit stops. So final pit stops underway leading us down. We're going to watch the 999 of Deviant as he works down into his pits here. Now with seven laps, six laps now remaining. It's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Looks like fuel only for the 799. Or I'm sorry, the 999. Confusion, you know, between me and his car owner, the 799 of Mike Check, as we see the 88 of NM is in. So it looks like fuel only for most of these drivers. We'll check in on some of these other ones. So, yeah, it looks like fuel only, maybe repairs on the 96 of Nico, but... Yeah, fuel only for a lot of these drivers going to watch Wishbone Attack and fuel for him. The 07 of Douche Baggins looks like he's going to be your leader right now. That's a possible lead by that 07 of Douche Baggins. He has already read a, read, led a couple laps here today. And the 11 of TC Roberts has already led here today. We've got a multitude of drivers having led this race so far. Could be a test of the tires here. This is a long, long, long race for uh, no tire changes. Yeah, that we've seen anyway. The 33 of Harvey Jones. If we could find, if he's out on the track still, he is out on the track still. So let's watch what Harvey does here, because we, we saw in the first pit stop, Harvey took zero tires. That's right. And but there is a possibility here. So when we think about like, we're gonna watch to see if he comes in. He he is he is coming in. So we're gonna see if Harvey elects to take tires here or if he goes no tires and he'll have gone all 30 laps, no tires, fuel only. So we'll see what Harvey does as he works down into the pits here. As we do see, Douche Baggins is into his pit. G3 also coming in for the pit. So we are seeing it here, folks. It is fuel only for the 33 of Harvey Jones, these remaining four-ish laps, uh, he is down and away. It looks like possibly the 07 was out, but we got 
the 25 and the 20 of Adam B5000 fighting it out right now. This could be your potential leaders could be the 25 or the 20 as they work around the 07. He is finally out of the pits. He's finally down the back stretch. So we're going to jump up here. So it looks like this is a race for the lead between the 20 of Adam B5000 and the 25 of JTM. Ooh, we see some uh, smoke or some dirt right there. A dust cloud, so say maybe somebody was down into the into the dirt. Yeah, Adam B five thousand who has the fastest lap time for the race today with a forty six point three four three, a top speed of one hundred and ninety four miles per hour. And they are significantly slower right now as a, well, not significantly. I, I would say significantly in the sense of racing as he's currently about 10 miles an hour slower than he is than when he had his fastest lap of the race. And so you can see with those warm tires and them just taking fuel only, which as having commentated so many of these races, I've never seen a fuel only strategy from anyone in uh, the races so fuel only for probably all of these drivers here today as we watch them keep pacing around this track with just a handful of laps to go adam b5000 is your leader we'll kind of go through your current scored top 10. Uh, we'll wait for it to update after that lap but we'll go through your current score top 10 so you can know where everybody is so your current leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the 25 of JTM. Third will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fourth, oh, well, it's just, it just changed. <laughs> so let's go back again. Your leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the 25 of JTM. Third will be the double zero of Mudbone. Fourth will be the 999 of Deviant. Fifth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Sixth will be the 777 of Seabass. Seventh will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Eighth will be the 23 of Fuller to the New. Ninth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 211 of Hogs. And two laps remaining here. Interesting enough, the uh, Adam B5000, he started 21st today. And uh, you got JTM starting in 14. Yeah, so if we're going to see if in these last two laps, that second pack of... Your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, who could just surprise everyone again at this point. Uh, he does have a draft. He's got a draft on the 25 of JTM. He's gonna have a draft on that 20 of Adam B5000. They're actually coming down to take the white flag here today. This is gonna be some last lap, this final lap. This is gonna be amazing as the 20 of Adam B5000 to the outside, the double zero of Mudbone to the inside. They're coming down. They're gonna take the white flag here. The white flag is out, one lap to go, your leader. The double zero of Mudbone going for the three, Pete. We're going to see if he can hold off the 999 of Deviant, the 777 of Seabass, the 420 of Queen of Hearts. All these drivers as he's sliding high. Remember, no tires for any of these drivers. And Seabass down to the inside of the 999 of Deviant. The double zero of Mudbone still leading as we head down halfway down the back stretch. Mudbone out to the lead right here that was his first lap led of the day he is going to have contention by the 420 at queen of hearts he's coming out of turn four he's still your leader as the 420 at queen of hearts trying to work to the inside of the triple seven of sea bass down to the stripe three pete here at daytona the double zero of mudbone so your winner today three peating here at daytona to just put a stamp on his points lead, the double zero of Mudbone. Wow. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Your winner was, again, the double zero of Mudbone. Second place will be the triple seven of Seabass. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the 999 of Deviant. Fifth will be the 23 of Fuller to the New. Sixth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Seventh will be the 329 of Heck of Duber. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 211 of Hogs. So, wow.
what an amazing race here at Daytona. But if it couldn't get any better, I mean, next week is the, the, the we're going to Martinsville. We're going to the paperclip of Martinsville, and we're going for the Martinsville 75. So that should be an exciting race next week at Martinsville. If if today's race wasn't even the most exciting race of the season, I think. Um, let's check out. Your current points will be here on the screen. I think you will see the double zero of Mudbone is currently still your points leader, and he's going to extend that lead over the 20 and the 544. You're seeing those points on the screen. Also, let's check in on your team and chassis standings. Looking at the finishing order, um, I think Douche Motorsports is going to extend their lead just a little bit over MBR and... So that should be still the case. But wow, what a race here at Daytona. Um, I didn't I didn't think it was gonna happen. Like with Mudbone being so far back after those pit stops, I was like, is he gonna get that three P and what a race, you know. My co-commentator, what did you think? Oh, uh, to, yeah, to bring it back, when you when we had Adam B5000 up there at the front with uh, JTM, they were looking solid. Uh, for them to make that comeback and close that gap and then close out the race, Mudbone's done very well tonight, today. I, I agree wholeheartedly, and what a race, what a win. I believe that will be his fourth win of the season. He will tie g3 for five career wins so that is an amazing feat for him and we'll have to often we'll have to check out the career standings and see if he's actually leading that and he may be new the now career points leader for the more freedom series and again like i pointed out earlier in the race he didn't even race season one so three seasons he has been able to in this season alone win those four races and just catapult himself up to the lead. You got to wonder if anyone's going to be able to catch him. I mean, Adam B5000 is right there in the race with him. Frederick Winklebaum finishing uh, several places down in uh, 12th. He finished down there in 12th today. So it, it could be a bit of a gap coming. Um, see if we can see if they can reel it in uh, those, those more bottom 10 drivers. Yeah, because that could have been the nail in the coffin for a few different drivers here in the series with that win by the double zero of Mudbone that may have put the season championship out of reach for anybody outside the top 10, depending on how the points are scored after this race. And with, I think what, eight races to go, eight or nine races to go. We go, we're race 27. We go to race 36. So these remaining races are going to be crucial for anybody second place or back. I would say probably looking at those standings, Anybody, if, theoretically, anybody in probably the top 15 could win the championship, but 15th place is go, is going to have a long road to hoe, and they're going to have to they're going to have to put up some wins to catch Mudbone. So hey, that was thank you for so much for coming today to the Daytona 75. Thank you so much to my uh, co-host today. Hey, you're welcome. It was great to bring a, a, a wealth of experience and knowledge uh, of this subject to this race. I, uh, I appreciate you having me here. You're very, very welcome. We're glad to have you here. And until next week at Martinsville for the Martinsville 75, take care.